the Spirit of the Lord, whatever God bids you to do, that's what we ask you to do. We've got several out tonight, but God knows where they are and what's going on with them. And uh, you just pray that God will get them back as soon as possible. Be much in prayer for those on our prayer list. But, uh, maybe somebody tonight's got a song on your heart, something you'd like to say or do for the Lord tonight. Somebody else tonight, something on your heart. Word or testimony. Somebody has a, this is our Wednesday night Bible study. We always open it up with all of our prayers. So before we do that, maybe somebody has a special object of prayer on your heart. I know I'm on there already, but I go in and I do extra minutes for every time. I'm not going to worry about it. Amen. Let's remember Sister Brittany and just be making some prayer for her and the baby and, and the family. Anybody else? There's plenty that's on our prayer list to be much in prayer about. I do ask you to continue to remember each and every one of those. So uh, we always gather around the altar. So anybody that can and will, we'll go to the we'll gather around the altar and we'll go to the Lord in prayer. us, God, to get on fire and stay strong and stay faithful unto you and your house and your work. God, I pray for every man of God, Lord, that stands to break the bread of life, that you'll touch them. Be with our teachers, Lord, that's here tonight, God, that's going to take their young folks in the back. And God, whatever their need is, I pray, God, that you'll help supply back there. Lord, if it's uh, from the pulpit to the choir, Lord, to the, to the congregation, to the sound room, Lord, that everything goes uh, that we'll be a, a light and a blessing yes. to you. Yes. Lord, we pray for those that's on this prayer list. We pray for Ralph Mink, Diane Eisenhower, Dolores Anderson, Brooke Hutchison, Clifton and Adam, uh, Dre Harry, Louise Markham, Governor Bishop, Kim Menard, the Reason family, Jim Perry, Rosie Osborne, David Wilson, Carter Harris, Kennedy Greer, Ashley Wyatt, McKenna Potter, uh, Jalen Sutherland, Daniel Purchase, Danny McAuley, Mildred Pass, Blake Atwood, John Polk, Faith Church, Mary Bailey, Nathan Campbell, Claire Hurd, Robbie Philippi, Ryan Marlowe, Harold and Shirley Rash, Stafford Humphrey and wife, Erlene Lay, we pray for Leanna Vaught, uh, and 
Brandon Lowe, David Burnett, White, Ryan, Mike Reynolds, Holly McFadden, Eddie's family, Ebenezer Christian Home, Lord, and all those workers and his children down there, John. Ross Dow, Luella Dunn, Dennis and Hazel, Dorothy Keller, uh, Danny Buchanan, Cindy White, Lucas Perdue, Terry Reed, Josh Jones, Harley Rankin, Ben Bowers, Kenny and Jane Head, Ed Ham, Sandra Morfield, Elaine Miller, Francis Brooks, Laura Hart, Nursing Home, John, all those patients, Lord, uh, Danny Cornett, Brenda Lunsford, Tracy Kortner, Dakota Benfield, Chuck Morfield, his family, Wendy Fox, Michelle Worley, uh, David uh, Ward. Uh, we pray for our wife, God, you know, she's got these tests and she has to have done and then she has to have surgery this uh, uh, next month as well, Lord, you just touch and guide in everything. Lord, you could ease her mind, Lord. We pray for Benji Watson, Tom Jack Shown, Joe Gull, Amy Morfield, Avery Key, Elaine Kirby, <coughs> Aaron Steele, Randy Lewis, <coughs> Jimmy Church, Steve Crest, Buffy Cornette, Delmer, Wendell Caraway, Marie Jennings, Rich Stout, June Brady, Zach Whitehead, uh, David Holloway, unspoken request tonight, Lord. We pray for Margaret Eisenhower, Bob Miller, our church, Joseph Roark, uh, Kathy McFadden, Brittany and the baby, William Williams, and Justin Moran and the kids. Lord, we pray, God, for every name that we just read off here. We may not know all the things that's happening, all the things, dear God, that's going on in their life, but you do. I pray to supply the need that's needful. Lord, most of all, if there's any that's lost and undone, does not know the free pardon of sin, God, whether they're on this list, in this community, in this church, or listening in on the internet, Lord, I pray, God, you'll just touch them, Lord, and just save their soul, give them an opportunity to get saved before it's everlasting too late. God, I just thank you for all the things that you've done for us. And I know, dear God, you've got so much more in store. God, help us to be faithful in our walk for you. We give you all the praise. Not our will be done, but thine. In Jesus' blessed name we pray. Amen.
I got that cell about 16 years ago. He said, I got Jesus and my wife got a husband. And he said, my son, my children got a daddy. Amen. He began to testify about what happened in his life. Hey, let me tell you something. Hey, we're going to really let Jesus be seen. Whether it be at work, whether it be at home, whether it be at church, Jesus ought to be reflected out of us. We shouldn't even be noticed. Amen. That old boy said he went to church several times and he didn't know what church was. I said he was a little drunk and everything else. Said after he got saved, said his boy was 16 years old at the time. He said two months after he got saved, his 16 year old boy asked to call him free. And you never know what's holding back, man. You never know what you might get out of somebody by sharing and letting Jesus be seen. Hey, that was one case. And I wouldn't go on and on and tell you about other things when people just get burdened down and ready to school them, maybe lost. Hey, but at least share the gospel and let us see Jesus. Because you may be the only Jesus they ever get to see. face to face, but he saw that light shine, amen, uh, and he knew all about it, he knew everything that was happening there, uh, and just a little, he didn't know it at the time, but he began to figure it out pretty quickly, uh, uh, when he got down there and Paul, and God sent me the Ananias to him down there, uh, to begin to tell him about what happened on that road, he received the Holy Ghost, uh, and he said that all he was able to reveal the Son in him, uh, but he's seeing out to the end, I love this verse, amen, uh, you know who God sent him to preach to? Your captain, my captain, amen. And we wasn't Jews, uh, we wasn't Israelites, amen. And, uh, Paul went out to preach to the Gentiles. Uh, he went out to preach to those who were not to be preached to, amen. Uh, all the other disciples that were gone out to preach to the Jews, uh, that were gone out into the Judea and all of Jerusalem. Uh, you know where Paul went? Uh, he went to the places where we were, amen. Uh, he went to the places where we are. And I thank God for those men. Uh, hey, it's not a I've been watching this show a little bit. Uh, uh, it's called uh, The Men That Build America, uh, uh, The Frontiers. Amen. I, I like history stuff. Amen. I've been watching that a little bit. And I'm thinking about the old boys old Game of Thrones, Daddy Crockett, and some of them guys, and Louis and Clark. And, uh, and how, I mean, we think, we think of America. We think of what a great land we've got. And we think about all this construction and infrastructure that we have and all the things. I mean, them boys was out there when they wasn't nothing to look. Still preaching the gospel, amen. And our Lord began to burn my heart right there was frontiersmen, amen. Right there was men who went out on the front line, cut the way. Hey, we might be able to have a beautiful church today and be able to worship it. I thought that old Billy Sunday and some of them others, the El Moon and some of the others that paved the way. Hey, when there wasn't no way, hey, for us to be able to go out and to preach the word, that's what Paul said. Paul was a frontiersman, amen. He went out where nobody else was going. You'll see that in the rest of these verses right here as well. Uh, Paul wasn't looking to, uh, to, uh, to stake claim on what somebody else had done, amen. Uh, he wasn't looking to stake claim on what somebody else had set up or established. Uh, he was out there doing the work of God uh, in new places, amen. Uh, letting, the will, letting the Son of God be revealed. Uh, he said to preach it into the Hebrews, amen. Uh, he said, but he also said that is turn not the flesh and blood. You know what that means? Paul didn't look for man for confirmation. Amen. Look, we got so many people that are saved that say they're saved because of what mom and daddy told them. Yeah. Because they followed some little preacher down here who said you pray this little prayer. And you'll be all right. Everything will be okay. Well, let me just tell you something. When I get down praying with somebody, I tell them how to be saved. I tell them how to let them have to be saved. Now, I always tell them this. I said, I'll pray with you. But you're going to have to do that. I ask all the time. 
proclaimed Jesus Christ. Uh, you came down here and you uh, said that you got saved. Uh, and then you went out and you, uh, you wasn't changed. Uh, let me tell you something. You didn't get what I got. Amen. Uh, uh, if you came down and you went back out the same way you was, uh, I promise you, uh, you need to be changed. Uh, he said he took off the old coat and put on the new. Amen. Uh, gave him a new garment. Uh, those things that are old and cast away. Yeah. He gave us something new. Uh, I'm glad to say today uh, that I'm not.